I'll be right with you guys. I am uh, just waiting for a... I always come on a little bit early just to see that people are coming on. Um, but I also want to make sure that I've got it going on Facebook Live. I like to simulcast. Ah, I think I think we're good. I do believe that we are good. Oh, look at that, my shirt. Mm. Got my glasses, got my head there, all just bouncing off uh, bouncing off the uh, the old skull there. Haven't shaved in a few days. Hey. It's all good. It's all good. So here we are at uh, five o'clock. This is Neil Palachi with the Wealth Creator Company for Women, your women's concierge money coach. And I have been doing a series on life insurance, but I'm going to take a day off. I'll tell you why I'm going to take a day off, because something happened over the weekend and I decided, you know, come Monday, I am going to have a chat with you all about something different. And then we'll get back to uh, the discussion about various life insurance issues tomorrow. So let me tell you what happened. So I got my uh, cable bill. And uh, my cable bill, my cable company has been taken over by another company. And... Uh, whether it's because of that or whether it's because my deals ran out or whatever, my cable bill was just under 25% higher than it was uh, for the prior year. Not just the prior month, but 25% higher. I thought, you know what? I have had enough of this crap. Uh, how much television exactly do we need uh, with all of the availability of shows and films and you you name it. Um, I'm kind of sick and tired of paying 80, 90, 100, 150, 200 dollars a month to watch freaking television. And you know, I thought to myself, just add this up. I mean, if you are, I don't know, spending, I, you got to have internet. I understand that. But let's say that you're spending a thousand dollars a year on television. A thousand dollars a year to watch television, which used to be free by the way, uh, and uh, you take that out. Now, I don't know, I'm 54 years old. I, I'm hoping I'm going to live a while, but I've also been paying this for a while. Let's say I've been paying this for 20 years. I've already paid $20,000 to watch television, and I'm about to pay another, what, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 over the next 30 or 40 years. So during my lifetime, maybe I'm going to spend fifty thousand plus dollars to watch freaking television. Forget it. Forget about it. Yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. So I thought to myself, okay, I am going to have a little bit of a moan on Facebook. So I put uh, what I was doing on Facebook, and I got dozens and dozens of responses. I told people what I'm doing, and then said, hey, what are you doing? Uh, now, look, I so I decided, okay, I'm going to pay my 60 bucks a month for really high-speed internet, which I am. And then I'm going to start out with uh, Netflix. I already had Netflix, so I've got my 8 9 bucks a month Netflix. And maybe um, we actually added, uh, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know, what do you call it? Hulu. So I went on to Hulu, and who knew? about Hulu. They got uh, they got it on sale for 5.99 a month. Okay. So I got my 14 15 bucks a month I'm paying for watching I it's so much television is absolutely ridiculous, right? And I got my uh, 60 bucks, so I got $75 a month for internet and and about all the television I can watch and oh my god I have to wait 24 hours to watch a show that was on last night which I was doing anyway because I was DVRing the bloody thing so I thought well okay then I I'm good with that now it all goes off tomorrow 
So uh, we'll see. We'll see how we like it. But uh, to cut your bill down by $1,000 a year or more, and I know that some of you out there are paying way more than that, probably paying $2,000 a year to watch television. And I decided, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. So then I thought, well, and I'm just reading here a little bit. But So I had somebody say to me, well, I'm doing Roku. So Roku, apparently, uh, you stick the little thing in your television and you got a little bit of TV there, but you can also get access to a bunch of other stuff. Somebody said they liked Dish, but Dish, quite frankly, doesn't look like it's any much less expensive uh, than, uh, than what I was uh, doing. Uh, one of my friends asked me, uh, how am I going to watch Arsenal? Because I like to watch my, uh, my Premier League team, uh, who, by the way, are tied for top of the league right now in England, so I'm very happy about that. I see my friend Elliot is watching, and his team won over the weekend, so uh, they're one point behind. Hey, not bad. Not bad. We've got five teams uh, within one point of the lead. Well, I mean, three teams on top and two teams that are within one point of the league. Very, very competitive. Anyway, so uh, then I got my friend uh, Harrison. He said, hey, uh, I called up and complained and they dropped the bill. You can do all that kind of stuff and they will drop the bill for a while and then it goes back up. And and then before you know it, you're paying a thousand bucks a year. And I'm just like, okay. Then somebody uh, t- talked about an antenna. Now, you can get an antenna and uh, you can, uh, you know, see what you can do about getting reception. Uh, you have to get a digital antenna because they're not sending out analog signals anymore. So you have to get a digital antenna. But sometimes you can get some stations doing that. And then, uh, hey, my friend Neil. How are you, Neil? Neil uh, Neil's up in... Uh, uh, lives up in Washington, but he was in Vegas and he had a little medical issue. So I'm, I'm glad that he's doing fine and he's looking in on us. So glad you're doing well, Neil. Uh, hey, Michelle, Michelle, Andrea, Stephanie, hi. So um, it's all good, right? Now, then then I go down and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. What is this? There is uh, uh, <laughs> somebody said somebody said use tinfoil. Uh, that would work, potentially. Uh, Apple Television, uh, Netflix already said, Amazon Prime, uh, TCM. I don't even know what TCM is. Um, then you've got, let me see, I see here somebody gets DVDs from the library. Uh, somebody has got um, an HD antenna, that's what I just mentioned. Um, and then people are not watching television. People are just saying to hell with it. I'm just not going to watch television anymore. Forget it. You know, I'll watch everything on the internet. Um, then I've got uh, people watching stuff on Amazon Prime, apparently does something. And then I'm, I'm flicking down here, and I see Sling. There's something called Sling, but they were like 20 bucks a month for 25 channels, so I'm not quite sure that that was terrific value. Um, and then somebody else said Hulu and so on and so forth. Then I go down, and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, and uh, a friend of mine down in San Diego, she tells me about freeair.tv. This is an amazing thing. So apparently you can get, you can buy a a cloud antenna, um, and it will, it does amazing things. Like you can spend 100 bucks, 200 bucks on like a cloud antenna, no monthly fees. Get all the television you want, right? Right out of the right out of the cloud. I mean, and record and and do everything. Take a look. Freeair dot TV. Freeair dot TV. Pretty amazing. Um, then uh, I've got um, my my father in law. He spent like three hundred bucks for this box, and he gets TV from all over the world. No monthly fees. Nothing. All the internet. Plug in the box. Perfectly legal and gets all sorts of television from all over the world. So, you know, it's got to be that cable is, I don't know, I think they're going to maybe go out of business. I'm not sure. But I look at five years down the road, and I think, well, I think that cable might be going out of business because the Internet is so powerful and becoming more powerful, and it is becoming so cheap. Like I said, you can get Hulu which is pretty good right now, discounted for one year for five ninety nine, five no six bucks a month. It's a lot of television, um, and as you know, Netflix is what seven eight nine dollars, 
uh, Amazon Prime, and so on and so forth. So uh, the other thing is, uh, and I'm going to see how exactly this works out, but like I'm with Time Warner, right? So I've got the 65 bucks, no, 60 bucks a month for my internet, um, but I still have access to everything on the internet. So when I go to timewarnercable.com and I sign in, I've still got access to all the channels. So theoretically, if that continues after tomorrow, after they cut me off, um, I could, in fact, get a laptop, plug it in with an HDMI cord to my uh, flat screen television, and simply watch television through my computer, which I know, and I just saw that John, my friend John, just signed on, um, that he was doing that. He had a laptop plugged into his computer, excuse me, into his television at home, and he would watch baseball and other things. Uh, so as long as you've got access to something, then you can always get it through the internet and plug it into your television, and off you go. Now, I suppose maybe there's a convenience factor, but you know what? A thousand, two thousand, maybe three thousand dollars a year saved. I can do without the convenience factor. Um, and yes, uh, Neil just asked me, what about a remote control? Well, I know that the television still has a remote control. Uh, the box that you use, like I use our Wii box to go through to the internet and get stuff on, that has a remote control. So I think that you can still... And you know what? I know this sounds unbelievable, but I can actually get up out of the telev out of the seat and press the buttons on the television. I know. Unbelievable. But I can actually do that, yeah. So I might actually get some exercise out of this thing. So that's what we've decided to do. And I thought, well, I am going to get on uh, Facebook Live and Periscope today and just moan a little bit about that. Um, I'll be back to talk to you about some life insurance issues tomorrow, which I know that you're you're very excited to do uh, to listen to tomorrow. We'll be we'll be talking about life insurance. And I can bore you to death on on that stuff, but in the meantime, um, I would say to you, think about it now. My friend Karen, she said there's a company called Black Chip Technology, um, which apparently uh, her friend's dad has this company. I don't know if she means he owns it or that she just has, he has the technology, but it's a box with an antenna. I'm looking at a picture here. Um, and apparently you can get uh, all sorts of television um, on that. I, there is just some amazing stuff. So this $100, $200 a month stuff outside of the internet uh, connection that you must have is completely unnecessary. It is unnecessary. So I don't know what the hell's going on with regard to like Time Warner being bought by Spectrum and all this other stuff. But I cannot see that the cable companies are going to remain in business unless they are going to go to internet-based television. It's kind of like what Netflix did. Netflix was using uh, CD, uh, excuse me, DVDs, right? You send the stuff in the mail. They were out of business, basically. Because nobody was using DVDs anymore, so they said, well, to heck, it, heck with it, we'll stream it, and look at them now. Fantastic. I would imagine they're a great company to invest in, or I haven't, hey, that is not investment advice, so please take a look, because I don't know for sure whether that's true, but I would imagine that, that might be a decent company to invest in. Anything internet-based seems to be decent. So, lots and lots and lots of choices. I, I would definitely take a look at you know, the Sling, the Hulu, the Netflix, the Amazon Prime. Um, you've got the, uh, what did I say, the freeair.tv. You've got Black Chip. Um, if there are any deals on the Dish TV, um, somebody talked about HughesNet Satellite. I'm not familiar with them. I would definitely take a look around and see how much money you can save. Even call the companies that you're with now and say, I'm not paying this anymore. Now, I see, I said that to Time Warner, and they said, oh, well, that's very interesting. Um, uh, thanks for coming. So uh, they weren't interested other than cutting out services, and in fact, Spectrum has taken over Time Warner, has less options than Time Warner had. So I, I don't know what's going on with that, and I don't really care, because we're done with that, got rid of everything, um, and I'll pay my 15 bucks for Hulu and Netflix, thank you very much, 60 bucks for my internet, 75 bucks a month, done. That's enough. 
um, and save myself a thousand bucks a year, and I'm sure some of you can save more than that. So, if you would like a copy of all of this uh, information that I have on all of these different services, I'm happy to provide that to you. I'll just copy it and paste it and email it to you um, if you would like it. You know how to get a hold of me. But if you don't, here it is, neil at thewealthcreatorcompany.com or directly phone, text 818-606-7327. And by the way, as a shameless pitch, shameless promotion, I am starting a brand new mastermind group on Friday. Uh, with, it's for financial professionals who are affiliated with life insurance companies. It's for women only. You can go to Wealth Creator Platinum Mastermind Groups.com. Wealth Creator Platinum Mastermind Groups.com. And take a look at that. And if you know anybody in the life insurance business, a woman who is a financial advisor, Northwestern Mutual, Mass Mutual, Guardian, New York Life, etc. Uh, please tell them we have a couple of spots left. We've got five people. I'm only taking eight. So uh, it's really good. It's very inexpensive. Take a look at the website. Pitch, 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 pitch. And let me know if you've got anybody that you want me to contact. In the meantime, take a look at your cable bill. Get rid of it. You don't need to watch television. It's all bullshit. Who needs to listen to Trump and Hillary anyway? They're idiots, both of them. All of them, all politicians, we should fire them all. That is my opinion for the day. Uh, and uh, But get out there and vote. Get out there and vote in November. There's lots of things on the ballot that you need to vote for. So that's my political statement for now. Uh, love you all. Thanks for watching. And have a great week. <laughs> Could I come up with a longer domain name? I'm not even going to answer that, Neil. I will call you later. Love to all. Have a great week, everybody.